So we start from a lump of clay, nothing more than a lump of clay. And I go up and down a couple of times to get it nicely centered and compressed on the wheel. This is porcelain, so it's quite fine to throw. Centered. See how it all of a sudden starts running very smooth. So now we'll sink down into it and make it start to look like a pot. So that's called opening. So I just opened up the middle and I check how deep the bottom is, just right. So this will be the bottom of a vase. And now we'll start to lift the walls. Inside. So, the first pull. Just one full to start with. Usually do three or four to it's not a Nice that I have a beautiful view out front. Okay, here's another pull. So I'm pushing from the inside. Where you see that roll? My fingers inside, just above the fingers on the outside. Pulling it. Trying to look like a it's a pretty pretty big piece to do for a demonstration. I spend a lot of time on one of these, so I'm just kind of doing it quick here. And how long have you been doing this for? How many well, years? Well, I went to art school back in the 70s. Then I got a real job. <laughs> and so I took many years off. And I just uh, came back to it um, about 12 years ago, full time. Okay. Full time and flat out. Loving it. Loving it. I made a lot of pots in the last 12 years. Start on what will be a, a bottle like the ones behind me here. I'm going to do just one more lift. And I'll show you a little bit how I blow it out. I won't do all the finishing because that takes too long. So if I want this to have a nice, pretty, full belly, now is when I would start deciding kind of how far out I want to take it. And start pushing it out. Decide on whether I want to have a nice long neck or a thin neck. That's amazing. Yeah. And then I start to use ribs, lots of different processes. I can also sometimes use a rib on the inside, one on the outside, but this is where it gets tricky. So I might just leave it here and then just show you the finished products. It takes a sturdy hand. It does, and uh, you have to keep breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I find I stop breathing. But if I keep going with that, then it's going to, then I'll decide where I put the emphasis in the belly.
you can see there. One like this, I might take it into that kind of shape at the top. Mm -hmm. Or one like this. This is new. I really like it. I like the top in that one. Yeah. So it's got that pretty curve. Mm -hmm. All my pots have curves, lots of curves and very feminine lines to them. I'm going to so come in and look stuff. at the lines quickly. Okay. And that's how a master starts her flower pots. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. And, oh, we should show a finish for it, too. After glazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. That one has silver nitrate on the crystals. Okay. And it's fired a third time. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a quick view around the room. What you see in the gallery. So that's the stoneware pottery there for every day. And I have dinnerware and all the completer pieces. But the crystalline is what I love to do on the porcelain. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us, Holly. Thank you.